The two apps or websites or whatever you want to call them that I wanted to show you today are Engravefill Pro and Outlaw Laser Studio. So I'm not going to lie, up until 6.30 this morning, this video was supposed to be entirely about Engravefill Pro. But as I was combing through my laser Facebook groups, I came across a post for this new app called Outlaw Laser Studio, which does roughly the same thing. And what these apps do is allow you to upload an outline or a template of a part that you're working on. So it could be like a knife blade or a handle or a metal wallet or a hatchet, whatever. Upload that outline into their system. And then from there, you can generate all types of interesting, mostly AI generated art, which will fill into that space. So you can see uh, the example here from simple outline to intricate art. This example is using scroll work. I'll show you a couple style examples from their showcase here. So you can see all of these different shapes and all of these different motifs that you can fill into those specific shapes. It's the same thing with Outlaw Laser Studio. This is the showcase for Outlaw Laser Studio. And it just comes up with all of this really cool, interesting artwork uh, within a minute, 30 seconds to a minute. So if you don't know how to design these complex um, graphic scenes like this, but it's something that you still want to offer or just play around with, these apps will do that for you. Now, these services do cost a little bit of money. The pricing for Engravefill Pro at this moment is uh, in different credit packs. So 5 euros, 12 euro, 20 euro, and 35 euro. And each pack has a certain amount of image generations. So one image generation is going to equate one credit. It's the same for Outlaw Laser Studio. Their pricing is based on a credit system as well. So you have a $10, $30, $70, and $160 credit pack. So for 10 bucks, you get 150 credits, which would be 150 image generations. So let's try it out. Since this video was originally only supposed to be about Engravefill Pro, I'll stick with that for our example. And it's perfect timing because I recently got a little sample box delivery in the mail. We're gonna check out what's in the box and then we'll engrave one using artwork that we generate from Engravefill Pro. What I have here is a little care package from my friend Ted over at CLJ Machine and Tool. He specializes in making 1911 grip blanks. And for anyone out there that's not into the gun stuff, He's also taking requests if you have any blanks in mind. I've got a couple ideas I might ask him about myself. He makes these grips in brass, copper, and aluminum, and what you see here is the brass and aluminum version. Here's a look at the 6061 aluminum. Smooth, lightweight, everything you could hope for from an aluminum grip. Here's a look at the C360 brass version. Beautiful, smooth face, and quite heavy since they're about a quarter inch thick. For today, I think we'll engrave one of these brass grips because I love brass. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is upload your outline. Right now, they only accept PNG and JPEG format with no transparent background, which I find kind of weird because when we trace our outlines, we usually do that in vector format. So I'm surprised it doesn't accept an SVG, hopefully that's coming soon, but I did export a PNG of my shape that I wanna fill and I will upload it now. Step two, this is where you generate the artwork. You have a couple different categories. So you have your standard scroll work category. You have a leather work category, which will do more things, uh, tooling designs, which are really cool. And then you have this other section. I haven't played too much in this one yet, but you have a bunch of different themes here. So Norse Viking, Egyptian, Aztec, Mayan, American Army, et cetera, et cetera. So I will just come back to the scroll work. I'll generate one or two just to show you. I don't want to burn through too many of my credits here. Um, so you would select your pattern style. Let's go with, I don't know, Baroque floral. Uh, you can select how intricate you want your pattern to be. I'll stick with standard. Pattern symmetry, do you need your pattern to be symmetrical, top, bottom, left to right? You can decide that here. And then offset border, this is a cool one. So if you are working with a shape where you don't want it to go edge to edge, you want your, you want your pattern to kind of have a little bit of a padding between the, uh, between the edges, that is where you would set that here. So once you have decided what type of style you want, you're gonna go ahead and click on Generate Scroll Work or click on X4. 
If you just click on generate scroll work, that will use one credit and create one image. X4 will do it four, four at a time, so four credits at a time. I will go with just one. After a couple seconds, it will load the result over on the right hand side and you can click on the zoom button to get a, big, a better idea of what it looks like. And if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click on download PNG. But if you're not, you go ahead and just run the process over again. All of your recent generations will be down here on the right, on the right hand side, the bottom right hand side, you can see I've been generating a whole bunch of these things. And if you click on the heart for any of them, they will add that over here to the saved tab. So I have been generating quite a lot of these burning through credits. And I did save a couple that I generated using actually the leatherwork style, which gave me these nice, uh, these nice uh, flower designs with these, these leaves and stuff like that, which I really like. So I think this is the one, or is it this one? I think this one right here. So this is the option that I really liked. And I'm going to use this one for our example. So once you're ready, you're going to click on download PNG. Here's another thing that I'm a little bit confused by. When we operate in the laser world, most of the time we're working with vector formats. So this should be available, in my opinion, to download as an SVG because what's gonna happen is I'm going to download this PNG and now I'm gonna to have to go ahead and resize it again when I'm in my laser software. So that might be coming as a feature, but it's something I would definitely suggest they add because I should only, I, I should just have to download this as an SVG and then it be ready to use. So let's download it and open it in our software. And here's why I was saying I don't like the fact that it exports a PNG because the scale is just going to be completely off. You can see how gigantic my artwork is here. Um, but I have to trace it anyway, so I'll just shrink it down after I trace it. One thing I forgot to mention while inside of the app, if your outline has cutout sections on the inside, so I, you see here I have these two holes here, to, to mark where the screw holes are. The, the apps will, will recognize those as well. So when it creates your artwork, it'll flow around those holes. I, I normally do that, but sometimes I like to really double and triple check my hole placement. So what I'll do is I will leave them off of my outline and then just do them right now before I go ahead and run the laser. And I'll just cut them out of the artwork myself. But you can upload outlines with all types of cutout areas inside of your outline. Here's a look at our brass grip after engraving, a little bit of cleanup, and some antiquing. Looks pretty good to me. The brass took the engraving and antiquing beautifully. So if you're in the market for some small batch made in the USA 1911 grips, I recommend checking out CLJ Machine and Tool. There's a link in the video description below. I don't think you'll be disappointed. As far as those design app goes, very fun to play with and I can see the vision but there's some core functionality I would like to see addressed, like having it be a full vector process start to finish. But it's still early, these are very new tools, so I'm sure they'll make it happen. AI isn't going anywhere, so I expect these tools to only get better as time goes on. Wanna try them for yourself? Links to both Engravefill Pro and Outlaw Laser Studio in the video description below. I'll catch you next time.